Ronan Reigns costs LA Knight a crown jewel 2023 Gunther's record-breaking title reign to end at WWE Crown Jewel 2023 Dominic Mysterio shows off new tattoo Cody Rhodes honestly not the guy Why did John Cena back out from challenging Roman Reigns on SmackDown? WWE official praises LA Knight, Roman Reigns to issue the bloodline and ultimatum on WWE SmackDown next week. Let's jump right into it. Gunther's record-breaking title reign to end at WWE Crown Jewel 2023. On WWE Raw, Gunther is making a strong case for being considered the greatest intercontinental champion in WWE. Not only is the Austrian is in the midst of a record-breaking run as champion, but he has also swept aside challenges from the likes of Chad Gable, Tommaso Ciampa, and many others during his dominant reign. While the ring general got past Ciampa recently, many wonder who would be the former's next challenge. Given Ciampa, along with Johnny Gargano, will be locked in a rivalry against Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser most probably a rematch between Gunther and Champo looks unlikely. Hence, WWE could book a 39-year-old to face the Intercontinental Champion at Crown Jewel. While this 39-year-old might not only possibly face Gunther, but also have a great chance of beating him. The superstar in question is Sami Zayn. After Kevin Owens was drafted on SmackDown this week, Zayn will now have to pursue a singles career on Raw. Taking into consideration his popularity, it would only be fair for him to fight for the title. Another reason why WWE could book Zayn to beat Gunther is because of the former's popularity popularity in Saudi Arabia. While the angle is speculative, it will help find Gunther new opponents and even a potential feud against Brock Lesnar, which would get him ready for the World Championship by next year. Since moving to the main roster, Gunther has experienced unparalleled success in WWE. From becoming the longest reigning intercontinental champion, earning praise from several legends, the Austrian has garnered plenty of praise. While the ring general is popular for his fearsome persona, many acknowledge him for his technical skill. However, as per wrestling veteran Dutch Mantel, the reigning intercontinental champion is not a really great technical technical wrestler. On a recent episode of Sportskeeda's Smack Talk, Mantel said while Gunther is not great technically, he makes up for it by overpowering his opponents. Mantel said, that's Gunther's whole deal. He's not a really great technical wrestler, but he just beats the crap out of you, which everybody in the world can relate to, Dutch Mantel said. Whether Gunther is great technically or not, the Austrian's current run can't be ignored. Whether in the ring or on the mic, the ring general seems to be dominating everywhere. It will be interesting to see when the 36-year-old would win a world championship in the Stanford-based promotion. Dominic Mysterio shows off new tattoos. Dominic Mysterio is in the midst of the greatest run a second-generation star could possibly ask for. The North American champion recently showed off the new tattoos that he got on his knees in his Instagram story. Dominic Mysterio may be one of the biggest heels of this generation. There is never a time he isn't greeted with boos when he tries to address the WWE universe. Most recently, he interrupted Triple H on WWE SmackDown, where, as usual, he was loudly booed by the crowd. Since joining the Judgment Day, Mysterio has shown the WWE universe a facet of himself nobody knew existed. He, along with Rhea Ripley and the rest of the faction, has disrupted the entire roster, wreaking havoc on all three shows. In an Instagram story, Mysterio showed off the new tattoos he had gotten on his knees. Dominic Mysterio had a bone to pick with Triple H and the management on WWE SmackDown last week. The game made his way to the ring to make a huge announcement, but was interrupted by the North American champion. Before Mysterio could air his grievance in front of the WWE Universe, the fans in attendance greeted him with deafening boos. The reception received by him was so loud that Triple H had to hold off on the announcement for some time. When Mysterio finally got the chance to speak, he addressed the Judgment Day losing the tag titles and not having received a rematch yet. The 14-time champion replied and told Mysterio to raise his concerns to the new general manager of the show, Nick Aldis, who was later brought into the ring. During his first interaction with Dominic, Aldis told him that he was a huge fan, adding that he was talking about his father a few moments later. The insult didn't sit well with Mommy, who aired her frustrations online. Is Dominic Mysterio the greatest of all second-generation superstars? Sound off in the comments section below. Cody Rhodes honestly not the guy. While Vince Russo believes Cody Rhodes could be trusted as the top champion in WWE, he doesn't think he could carry the company on his shoulders. Ever since he returned to WWE at WrestleMania 38, the American Nightmare has only grown in popularity and is currently one of the biggest draws in the company. Though he fell short of winning the top prize from Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39, Cody is still very much in the position to win the title down the line. On the latest episode of Sports Kita's The Wrestling Outlaws, Vince Russo compared Cody Rhodes to Jeff Jarrett. Russo explained that just like Jarrett was a dependable champion for WCW, Cody could fulfill a similar role in WWE. However, when it comes to representing the company in the mainstream, Russo doesn't feel the American Nightmare has enough star power to do that. I look at Cody Rhodes the very same way. You would be my Jeff Jarrett. He's a great wrestler he could get heels over and gets hurt a little bit more than Jeff did, but somebody you can definitely depend on to carry that title. Is he going to casual fans? Could he relate to Hollywood? Could he be on the Kimmel Show and the Fallon Show? I don't think he's that guy. I think he's a good little hand
and he's a great wrestler and he could carry your belt, but I don't think he has that kind of star power. That's just my opinion, said Vince Russo. A few days back on the Busted Open podcast, Wooly Ray explained that while Cody Rhodes deserved to headline WrestleMania 40, things could change if The Rock was available to return. The wrestling legend believes that a match between Roman Reigns and the Brahma Bull could be a bigger draw for WWE. Personally, I believe Cody has earned the right to be a headline. Not deserved, earned. But that Rock is the bigger headline. This discussion reminds me of the movie 12 Angry Men, where it seemed like the verdict was so obvious in the beginning. But by the time they got to it, and they actually discussed it and talked it out, the jury completely flipped, said Bully Ray. The Rock unexpectedly showed up on the September 15 episode of WWE SmackDown, where he got a confrontation with Austin Theory. WWD official praises L.A. Knight L.A. Knight is arguably the biggest babyface in WWE today. The superstar has earned massive praise from many fans and critics, including a WWE official. Mang has been one of the hottest prospects in the company for nearly two years. His work on NXT was great, but his main roster move has turned him into an even bigger star. Fans want to see L.A. Knight get a big push that will make him a top champion in the company. WWE Senior Vice President Road Dogg recently opened up about the megastar's position in the company during a chat on his Oh, You Didn't Know podcast, Road Dogg stated that Knight did not wait for the creative team to give him opportunities. Instead, he decided to make a mark himself. We're always so quick to jump on booking for something. I would argue L.A. Knight didn't wait on them to book him and do something. He became undeniable, and all of a sudden, you got to book him. So some of this lies on the individual. He added that the writers can only do so much to get a superstar over. You know, at some point, and they said this in the notes, actually, so it's ironic, some point the bell has to ring, and you have to connect with the viewer. You have to connect with the viewing audience, and if you can't do that, they'll blame it on the writers. LA Knight is stealing the world right now. It's organic, it's real, and I always like to. It's the opposite of Rusev Day. Knight has a long way to go in the company. However, he may get his first singles match for a world championship in the coming weeks. The latest edition of SmackDown saw John Cena welcome fans to the season premiere of the show before Roman Reigns made his much-awaited return. Cena revealed someone who was worthy enough to challenge Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship before LA King Gift's music hit. The megastar made his point after getting in the tribal chief's face. He even threw Juni Uso out of the ring before defeating Solo Sokoa later in the night to make a bold statement. Knight could well get a match against Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at Crown Jewel. It would open the doors for the megastar to get more world title matches. Do you want to see L.A. Knight as the next world champion in the company? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Roman Reigns to issue the Bloodline and Ultimatum on WWE SmackDown next week. Roman Reigns received multiple surprises when he returned to WWE SmackDown this Friday. John Cena is back in a larger capacity, Jimmy Uso is apparently back in the Bloodline, and LA Knight is now the biggest superstar in the company. Last week on SmackDown, John Cena was in the ring when Roman made his return. Cena also brought out LA Knight during their confrontation. As the show went on, Reigns didn't seem happy that the John Cena problem wasn't dealt with properly. The tribal chief is not one to accept failures from himself or anyone else. To correct the happenings on the blue brand this week, fans could see Reigns deliver the bloodline and ultimate. This past Tuesday on NXT, the WWE Universe saw Paul Heyman in conversation with Ava Rain and also discussing with Braun Brecker. This Friday on WWE SmackDown, fans could see the head of the table give an ultimatum to Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa. If Jimmy and Solo don't dispose of Cena at Crown Jewel, there would be changes. At Crown Jewel last year, Roman Reigns put on a brilliant title defense against Logan Paul. The Maverick, just in his third match then, put on a brilliant performance against Against the company's top star. In an interview with Justin Barrasso of Sports Illustrated, Paul reflected on his match with the Tribal Chief at Crown Jewel last year. He also teased the chance of a rematch. I was really enthusiastic to come into my own as a wrestler, so I really overprepared for that match, Paul said. It paid off. I pray that's going to age nicely and maybe Roman and I can run it back. He's so, so good. The chances of Logan Paul getting a rematch look very slim, especially when the person in front of the line is someone who he doesn't like, L.A. Knight. Roman Reigns has returned after almost two months and is now very very much a man in demand. Roman Reigns costs LA Knight at Crown Jewel 2023. Not only did Roman Reigns return to SmackDown this week bring excitement among the WWE Universe, but it also revealed a new challenge for Tribal Chief. After beating Jey Uso at SummerSlam, Reigns is on his way to face LA Knight at Crown Jewel 2023. If the dude lock horns at the PLD in Saudi Arabia, it will be their first ever encounter against each other. While fans on social media have already picked sides, there is a chance that WWE could book Roman Reigns to win this match by turning a top SmackDown superstar 
heel. The superstar in question is Kevin Owens. During his time on Raw, Owens regularly had episodes of bursting out in anger, which was usually controlled by Sami Zayn. However, given Zayn is not on SmackDown, the Stanford-based promotion could book Owens to lose his mind and turn heel by costing LA Knight at Crown Jewel. While the angle is speculative, it works well because by making LA Knight lose due to interference, WWE won't tamper with the 40-year-old's momentum. Also, after losing to Reigns, the megastar will have a massive feud against Owens to explore. It will be interesting to see if WWE goes this road. Before Roman Reigns could turn heel, WWE projected the big dog as a face for quite a while. But during that period, he failed to connect with audiences, and there were many critics of his run. However, once he turned heel and worked on his current gimmick, Reigns experienced tremendous success. During an episode of Sports Keto Wrestle Binge, EC3 credited Roman Reigns for his run as a heel. The former WWE superstar drew comparisons between Reigns' previous run as a face and the current run as a heel. He said, When we talk about Roman Reigns too, Roman was in that position where he was the big dog, white meat babyface. There was just something missing. Like he was cool, whatever. But then it's him becoming the head of the table and developing that as a heel, where you have freedom as a heel, because if what you're doing sucks, it's okay, you're a heel. EC3 added, So, you have the freedom to experiment with things. And his work, he's a very, very good wrestler. But the way he has developed, everything he does has meaning. Like his Superman punch is a spectacle. When he hits a spear, it's a spectacle. When one examines Roman Reigns' career, it's hard to disagree with EC3. After trying out various gimmicks, his run as the tribal chief has served him well. It's helped Reigns become one of WWE's biggest superstars in history. Why did John Cena back out from challenging Roman Reigns on SmackDown? John Cena was expected to challenge Roman Reigns at the season premiere of WWE SmackDown. However, he welcomed the tribal chief with open arms, acknowledged him, and revealed that he hadn't earned the right to challenge Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. On the other hand, the champ revealed that it was LA Knight who had rather earned that right and stepped back as Knight entered the ring to confront Roman Reigns. While it's an excellent spectacle to witness WWE's top heel versus the WWE's top babyface, the champ not dethroning the tribal chief is slightly disheartening for his fans. While what fans see in the ring is kayfabe, Cena introducing Knight as Reigns' next rival is a creative direction. In reality, John Cena is mainly focusing on tag team matches for his current WWE run. It goes without saying that challenging the tribal chief will be a singles match, which is probably not among Cena's plans right now. Furthermore, the SAG AFTRA strike is supposed to come to an end sooner than later, following reports of negotiations between the Actors Union and the entertainment studios and production houses. Once the negotiations are successful and the strike ends, the champ is expected to return to Hollywood to resume his schedule. As a result, committing to a single storyline, especially one involving WWE's highest gold, isn't the best way forward for Tittenland or the champ. The debate of who is the greatest of all time has been going on for a while now. In the current era, the battle for being the GOAT is between Roman Reigns and John Cena. However, the leader of Sination revealed who he thinks the greatest of all time is when he spoke to sports kid at wrestling's Riju Descupta at the WWE Superstar Spectacle Media Junket. In my perspective, I think Roman Reigns is the greatest of all time. John Cena reiterated the same on the October 13, 2023 edition of SmackDown. However, fans will always be divided about the real GOAT of WWE. Given the legends Tech Tamlin has produced over the decade, who do you think is the real GOAT? Let us know in the comments section below. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing